Well, good morning, gentlemen. Today, I, uh, I'm finishing up my rough and electrical, um, which called for a celebratory cigar. Now, most of you know that I don't normally smoke a cigar. Normally, I smoke my tobacco pipe, but I decided to enjoy a good cigar, and um, I was thinking about a few things with it. You know, cigars, or tobacco in general, for those of you who are into it, it is a very subjective thing. What I mean by that is I mean that what is, what is a really good cigar for one person is going to be the worst cigar ever for another. And whatever is a bad cigar for you is going to be a great cigar for someone else. You'll find that you like particular shades, particular flavors of wrappers, binders, fillers. For instance, I love one of the cheapest cigars you can get on the market right now. It's a uh, Charter, Charter Oak Connecticut Shade. I buy them by the box because they're so cheap. And uh, they are a nicer cigar, but they're a cheap luxury cigar. And they're one of my favorite smokes. Now, this is not one that I'm smoking today. Um, but I got to thinking about that. I was just, I was just thinking about it. It just passed through my head, and all of a sudden, I kind of turned to it, and I said, you know what? I can, uh, I can kind of ponder this for a minute, like, What's good for me is bad for somebody else, and what's bad for me is good for somebody else. And I thought about that, and I was like, well, you know, that, that relates to our lives a lot. You know, what in our lives, what is working out for other people, if, uh, you know, we'll see other people, they've got a great job, it's a fantastic job, they've got a family, kids, you know, living in this big fancy house, you know, driving these nice cars, and that's great for them, but it not might, it might not be a good thing for you. you. That might not be the plan that God has for you. Same rule applies. I'm out here living in a camper right now, building my dream home. It's a small house, but it's a dream home. I have a fantastic wife, a, a great family. This is great for me, this is my dream. This is a fantastic move for me. This is where I know I need to be. But it might not be somebody else's cup of tea. Which is why you need to be very careful when giving your opinion on something. Because what you might think might be the best thing ever. You might say, well, everybody should build a tiny home. Why doesn't, why doesn't everybody build a house out of cash the way we're doing it? Or why doesn't everybody, you know, live debt-free? And although that would be great, that's not for everybody. You know, some people, they really could not live living the way I, I do. They would be miserable. I'm very happy, extremely content living how I live. But it's not for everybody. And... We just need to think about that. Make sure you think about that sort of thing before you pursue a conversation or try to persuade somebody to do something. You might have a particular way of doing it. Um, it, um, it might be great for you, but it's not gonna work out for everybody. So don't live with the mindset of your way is the best way. Um, I know a lot of people that live that way and they live miserable lives because they're constantly mad at everybody else because everybody else isn't doing what they're doing. If everybody else was doing exactly what I was, what I'm doing, what I'm doing wouldn't be special to me. It'd be what everybody else is doing. So as confusing as that may sound, it's a good rule to live by. You know, I...
I want to make sure I'm enjoying what I'm smoking. And in order to enjoy what I'm smoking, I need to enjoy the cigar, the flavors that are coming for it. Now, if everybody else is smoking, let's say, an acid cigar, which I, I can't stand the acid cigar line, and I was like, you know what, everybody else is enjoying it, so surely that's a good thing for me. Surely I have to like it. So I start smoking those cigars. So I'm going to be miserable. I'm going to hate cigar smoking because all I'm doing is smoking cigars that everybody else likes. Whereas I should pick up and find a cigar that I like, kind of try around, figure out which one I like, and stick to smoking that regardless of what everyone else is doing. So just remember to live your life like that and try and do your best to stay out of everybody else's way. You know, if somebody ask for your opinion, or if you, you want to offer your opinion to somebody, uh, do it with some discretion. Um, don't expect them to take your opinion because it might not be for them. But that's all I want to talk about today. You know, enjoying a good cigar is important to me. It's, it's a special, special time for me. And I wanted to share that with you guys. So, um, I appreciate you guys sticking around, and I will see you guys for another video. Have a good day, gentlemen.